Montessori activities follow a set of principles. Um, and of course, one of the main principles is that the activity needs, or the role needs to be meaningful to the person. So it has to have a link back to who the person is. I brought a song by the Beatles, who used to be one of your favorites, and also a song by Dean Martin. Which one would you like to listen to? Excellent. It's really important that people are given an invitation to participate. It's about honouring them as adults and allowing them some control over their lives. And often they lose that sense of control because of their dementia. Yes, and I wondered if you could help me with a couple of things. So I brought two things. I brought some flowers and also some pictures of birds. What would you like to do? Look at the pictures or maybe the flowers? Offering choice is important because it gives them some control and um, enables them to participate in just what activity they're going to do. Talking less and demonstrating more is really important because the motor activity or demonstrating means that they're not trying to focus on what you're saying as well as what you are doing. So demonstrating is one of the key principles. It's really important to know what somebody's strengths are and to use those strengths. Uh, and, you know, certainly when it comes to physical um, abilities, we can use those and, and be mindful of those when we develop activities for them. It's about being aware of how quickly somebody moves, how, how quickly do they feed themselves or walk or raise their head when you're talking to them. Um, so we need to match their level of speed. Well, cues and templates are important because they can guide the person so that they know what they need to do. For example, setting the table using a template. A template will show them where the things go. The answer is there for them. Enabling the person to hold something helps them to focus on the activity. It's important to work from um, simple through to complex. As somebody is able to do the simplest version of the activity, then we can change it to make it a little more difficult. So, and so you always work from simple through to complex. An activity may be um, start off with them just doing the one step over and over again until they get that step and then you add another step in. And so you build on an activity step by step. It's important to ask the person if they actually enjoyed what they've just done um, and if they would like to do it again. Uh, that guides you um, that, and lets you know that they've enjoyed it and for the person, um, it oh. again gives them a sense of some control. Did you enjoy doing that? Yeah. Yes. Can I come back another time and we'll do this again? We, yeah, we can do it again. There is no right or wrong with a Montessori activity. Um, the right way is the person's way.